Hi guys, this is Edgy Joe and welcome to my next project which is called the GPIO sequence project or the LED uh, blink project or the traffic light project or however you want to call them. So um, let me quickly, whoops that's my fingers, let me just quickly show you how I've set this up. So um, as you can see just like before I've got my breadboard and then I have three LEDs this time. Uh, which can simulate a traffic light uh, or whatever you want. The first part of it, the red one, is set up just like my previous project, exactly the same, but then the the yellow and the green one is set up slightly different. Um, they all link to the, if I can just turn that again, they all link to there to the negative uh, part, to the ground, they all link to that, the resistors, and then they would link to the, maybe if I show it from this side, the negative uh, part of the or the other part of the uh, resistor links to the negative of the LEDs and the cables, the little wires, uh, if you can see or not, they link to the positive side. Remember, remember the longer leg of the two. If I just run it, I'll just run it like that so that you can see that there we go, we've got the LEDs switching on in sequence and you can also see my program is running and it's running through the cycles just like before but it's um, outputting to pin 7, 11 and 13 and it's switching it on and switching it off. If I just go out slightly like that maybe then you can see the code is running as well as the LED. I set it to run for to 10 cycles which is just finished. I will just let it run again quickly. There we go, it starts again and then you can see the lights are starting again. Uh, it's all hooked up to my uh, Raspberry Pi and I've used, uh, again, pin number 6 for the ground. If I can just maybe switch my hands quickly. Um, you can see I've got this pin number 6. We've got pin number 7 for the red LED. Then we've got pin number 11, this one, for the yellow one. And then pin number 13 over there for the green LED. And if I come to my diagram, you can see over here that I've got uh, my diagram set up. Let me just move my hands again so there you can see just like before that was the the normal the normal one the first project we've done which is the LED blink or the GPIO blink project but the the longer leg the positive goes to pin number six over there and then in the ground goes sorry the ground goes to pin number six the positive goes to pin number seven and then the ground um, for the yellow and the green LEDs are the same as the red one uh, and then it links up, remember these are all linked together on the breadboard so that links up to the shorter leg, that resistor links up to the shorter leg and that resistor links up to the shorter leg of the LEDs and then the positive side of the LEDs the for the yellow LED that orange cable in that case links up to pin 11 which is GPIO 17 and for the green one, the green one links up to GPIO 27 pin number 13 and then the code is very similar uh, but expanded in terms of the uh, of the Python. So you can see instead of just setting up the uh, pin 7, we also set up pin 11 and pin 13 um, as GPIO out, as outputs. And then the code itself, you can see again, very, very similar to before. Um, and by the way, you can you can change that value there if you want to make it go through 10 cycles or 5 cycles or 100 cycles or whatever you want to do. And then you can just see it's very similarly set it to true, set it to false, and so on. And then it goes through the cycles. And then it ends off, it ends off again the same. You have to count through it. So um, you will just add cycle, once it's gone through everything, cycle 1, and goes through again at cycle 2, and so on and so on. And then we just clean up the code uh, with a gpio.cleanup just to reset the channels again. Um, also if I can just show you over there um, how that part of the code works if I can just zoom out slightly so it makes a bit more sense, there we go sudo means you're a super user, python is the software or the program you're using and then you've got the file that you want to execute that's how that part works there so if I just enter, you can see it starts cycle 1 I'll just come out slightly so we can see the flashing lights as well and there we go in the background you've got the program running you've got the sequence through the lights and uh, it's another neat project that you can find in many books on many websites but I thought let me just do a little video about this one thank you for watching